Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is the part 3 for the solution of mathematical methods of CC1 paper for semester 1 for physics honors in under Calcutta University. This is question of 2021. Already we have completed the two part for question number 1 and 2, 3, 4. You can see this is the question paper, total question paper. This question number 1 complete in part 1 and this question number 2, 3 and 4 completed in part 2. And in this part, we will be dis want to discuss this question number 5, 6 and 7. So, let's start the solution of question number 5. Which says, compute this uh, surface integral over this surface, this S1 surface and S2 surface over this vector. So, there is the uh, vector given like that. For S1 surface, you can see this outer surface will be like that. That is minus J cap and Y equals to 0 here. And for S2 surface, here this Y equals to 1 here and the N cap that is the surface unit unit vector on the surface will be j cap so the integration on these two surfaces s1 and s2 can be written as like that and this will be integration will be uh, this is the yz uh, zx plane because this is perpendicular to y axis so this can be written as like that so n cap is written for s1 surface minus j cap and y equals to 0 here you will be obtained this is 0 because j dot j is 1 that is y and y is 0 so finally you will be get 0 here and for that is y that y is 1 that 1 and y is value is 1 so you will obtain this one so this is the integration of that 1 that 0 is z which is starting from 0 to 1 and x which is varies from 0 to 1 so finally the integration will be 1 so the value of this integration will be 1 Next question, what do you mean by orthogonal carbonyl coordinate system? Then find out the unit vector of spherical polar coordinate system in terms of I cap, J cap and K cap. Orthogonal coordinate system, that is the coordinate system in which all coordinate axes are linearly independent, that is mutually perpendicular, that is orthogonal to each other. Okay. In spherical polar coordinate system, any uh, position vector can be written as I cap X plus J cap Y plus K cap Z, where X is the R sin theta cos phi, J Y is the R sin theta sin phi and z is the r cos theta so the unit vector along r x is r cap can be written as del r vector by del r and the mod of that one so just taking this r vector uh, with respect to r if you partial derivative with respect to r you will be get i cap sin theta cos phi j cap sin theta sin phi and k cap <coughs> cos theta and if you divide it uh, by their modulus will be like that and you can see here uh, these two becomes uh, uh, sin square theta and this becomes one so finally you will be get this r cap that is the uh, this one the r cap vector the r cap will be like that I, I can show you here this this r cap along that one this is along r cap theta cap along that one this is theta cap and phi cap along that one this is phi cap okay so i think clear about r cap and similarly for theta cap del r vector by del theta divided by del r vector by del theta uh, mod so if you just uh, taking this derivative with respect to theta and divided by this mod modulus value will be obtained this theta cap and finally phi cap will be like that so here this theta cap r cap phi cap are the mutually perpendicular to each other next question says use gauss theorem to convert the volume integral this one to uh, a surface integral over a boundary volume like that okay so the gauss divergence theorem says the divergence of any vector is uh, the volume integral of divergence of any vector is nothing but there is a closed integration we can write here there is a closed integration on the surface integration of this vector like that. if you there is a closed uh, volume this is a volume and this is the surface if you taking this volume integration of this divergence of any vector is the same as if you take this uh, surface integration of this vector okay so here if you take this uh, vector is phi grad of psi and if you take divergence of a gives you like that so this is nothing but this one if you just compare this one so you'll be get this one here this and this one okay next so that the eigenvalue lambda of a two dimensional invertible real valued matrix a inverse equal to a dagger is like that so the eigenvalue equation is this one taking the complex conjugate you will be get this one if you multiply a in the both side and this is i this identity matrix and this one so lambda square mod is like that so this will be put here uh, this question i cannot solve at this moment if we can do that 
I will be supplying you or if anyone can do that you must comment in the comment box solve this system uh, a system of equation by the matrix method this is the two differential equation you need to solve this equation by matrix method very simple you can write down these two in the matrix form this y prime and this is z prime and this in the matrix form 0 1 because this is multiplied with uh, z 1 and this is the minus 1 so this is the in matrix form these two equation in matrix form you can write them here here this a that is the matrix equation uh, find out the characteristic equation and find out the lambda value the eigen value and for the eigenvalue you will obtain this eigen vector this two okay so this is the process finally you will be get this two eigen vector if you use use the eigen value and eigen vector you will be these two solution very easy uh, for detail of this uh, chapter we will be discuss in the another playlist you can go through the description more or in the channel you will be get the different playlist for the mathematical solution so this one that next question let us uh, uh, let a unitary matrix u can be written as u equals to a plus ib where a is the hermitian matrix having the null degenerate eigenvalue so that a square plus b square equals to i u is a unitary matrix that is this one so and a b is the hermitian matrix so a dagger a, a dagger equals to a and b dagger equals to b and this is a unitary matrix so if you take this u equals to a plus i b if you complex conjugate and then transport you will get this one if you multiply this one you will be get that one and a b are having non-degenerate eigenvalue that is a b minus b a equals to zero so you will be get a square plus b square equals to i next question so that two by two matrix this one can be written as like that so a equals to either so determinant of a equals to this one a d minus b c so trace of a x nothing was a plus d now a square will be like that multiply this one will be this one trace of a square equals to like that now half of trace of a whole square and then this one gives you like that so this is and this is equal so this is proved next question says if matrix a transformed to a diagonal matrix where this so that theta equal to like one so a is given here and u is given here taking the mod and the surgeon we finally u inverse if you multiply it, this b u a a inverse this multiplication will you obtain this one and since this is a diagonal matrix so of diagonal term must be zero if you take this of diagonal term is zero so these two are same things like that so just continue this process you will be get theta equal to light okay so i just say you are with the process and the calculation you can make your calculation in your own hand uh, this is very simple if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me this is my contact detail you can connect with this telegram channel this is my youtube channel details go to the channel we get different facilitated videos some mathematics like this session if you learn something for this session share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you need this channel those already subscribed thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get notification of video. so take care we'll meet in the next video and as soon as possible thank you